Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we have a very special topic that is dear to my heart and that is fasted versus fat cardio. Which one is better when it comes to weight loss? So before we dig in um, and talk about the research and everything else, I want to begin by introducing myself especially to those that are new to my channel. So my name is Stephanie Zakaira. I am an IFBB pro. I'm also a certified personal trainer and I'm a competition coach. I got my bachelor's in psychology and I got my master's in industrial organizational psychology at IIT back in May of 2016. So pretty recently. So I got it, I guess a year ago. Um, so you might be thinking, mm, this girl's psychology and she's talking about sports science, nutrition, and everything else. Well, I've been in the field for a while now. And one thing that you learn through any master's program, especially one that's research-based, is how to synthesize, how to understand, and how to apply research. So without further ado, let's begin. So before we dig in and talk about the research and everything else, I want you guys to think about what do you guys think will be the best form of cardio? Is it gonna be fasted? Or is it gonna be fed? So you know, fed meaning eating right before doing your cardio. A lot of people swear by the fact that if they do fasted cardio, they're gonna get the best results. You know, some people, some coaches even like tell their clients, you know, the only type of cardio that they want them to do is fasted. And then others are a little bit more lenient and say, hey, you know what, it doesn't matter. Like, I'd rather you do it like later in the afternoon or after your training or whenever you want. So which coach is better and which one's actually giving you the best advice? I've actually had that this question asked over and over again with my own clients. And to me, I've always done my cardio whenever I've had a chance. So that's what I've been telling my clients this whole time. You know, whenever you have a chance, go into your cardio. But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, can I and my clients have better results if they just do all their cardio fasted, or at least some of the cardio fasted. What is the difference? Okay, so I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and look this up. Let's go ahead, let's dig into the research and find out what's going on. So Sean Feld and his friends decided to perform an experiment to figure out exactly what, it, you know, what would it be better for weight loss? Would it be a fasted cardio or a fed cardio? And by fed, I mean eating right before doing your cardio. What they did is they decided to, you know, let's put an experiment together. They gathered 20 girls from their university. Their, the average age was 22. They weighed around 137 pounds and the average height was 5'3". These girls were athletes and very, active when it came to exercise. Some of them were actually track athletes, not all of them were, but all in all, they were very active when it came to exercising. So this is not to generalize to the whole population, but more for girls that do work out. So the experiment took four weeks and what they did is they grabbed their 20 girls and they tested them before and after the experiment. And what they tested on was their body composition, their BMI, their body fat percentage, and their waist circumference. To gather their body fat percentage, what they used was this machine called the Bod Pod. So essentially is a machine where you go and you sit in and what it basically tells you is you know, how much body fat percentage you have. Then the girls were put in into two different groups. So 10 of the girls were put into the facet cardio condition and then 10 of the other girls were put into their fed condition. For the fasted condition, the girls were not allowed to eat right before the cardio. So essentially what they did is they ate at night and then they woke up and did their cardio session. The fat group, they ate at night and then once again in the morning, right before doing their cardio, they drank this shake that was 20 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, and around 0.5 grams of fat and it was 250 calories. The girls were put in to do this exercise that was low to moderate intensity on the treadmill. Um, their cardio sessions were monitored by one of their research assistants that 
pretty much monitor to see like you know like if they were working too hard or too low and that their heart rate was consistent among all the other girls that were doing the experiment and the cardio session was for one hour their food was also manipulated in the study so all the girls were placed into a deficit and a caloric deficit and they were all being tracked by my fitness pal so all the girls were told you know they had to plug in exactly what they were eating just to see you know like how much protein carbs and fats and calories like they were eating per day so the results they went and they test you know after the four weeks they went back and they tested the girls on body mass height body composition and waist circumference so what they noticed in their research was there was no difference like none of the girls lost more or less weight in either one of these conditions that was significant significant enough to be accounted for. Um, and that was once again for the body fat percentage, their waist circumference or fat mass, and their fat free mass, which had no effect, no significant difference. Um, there's your answer. So based on the study, there is no, there's no difference in whether you wanna do fasted versus, um, versus fat cardio. There were some limitations when it came to the study. So there was four main limitations that came with this study one was you know is four weeks enough to be able to state that you know this is you know there's no difference if the study was longer could you see you know one of these taking more control and you know more individuals losing weight maybe maybe not number two when it came to the nutritional aspect of the individuals that were being tested they were just relying on my fitness pal and what the girls decided to put in into their my fitness pal you know maybe they were really eating everything or maybe they were actually eating more so there's no real way to say you know that the study was really controlled their, their nutritional deficit number three we don't know if these girls decided to do extra cardio or extra exercise or anything um, besides the one hour of cardio that they were supposed to do while they were doing their the study. They were actually told in the beginning of the study that they weren't allowed to do any other kind of exercise. They were only allowed to you know do that one hour of cardio and that's it. They weren't allowed to do weight training, more cardio, nothing else. So everything could be controlled. But once again, we don't know what these girls are doing and if they went out and did a little bit more, there's no real way to know. And then lastly, so limitation number four, we can't really generalize these results to everyone in the population. So these girls are very active. Some of these girls are actually athletes in that university's track team. And we don't really know how much can this be general, you know, generalized to like someone that's, for example, obese. So with that being said, like, you know, maybe the results for someone that is obese or just a regular person might not get the same results. I will link the study into my bio so you guys can go ahead and read it and you know get the information for yourself. If you're doing if you're debating whether to do fasted or fed cardio, do whichever you think it's best for you. So if you prefer to do it you know right in the morning before you can even think about what day it is, you know you go ahead and do that. But if you're a person that just gets really hungry like I do and doesn't want to wait 30 to or however long your cardio is to be able to eat, you know, maybe eat before. So once again, it's all up to you and what you decide to do that will be beneficial for you. Once again, there is no difference according to the study. So do what's best for you. <laughs> and so that concludes the study. I hope you guys were able to learn a little bit more and get a little bit more educated like I did. And these videos are going to come up every Monday, Monday where I'm going to find a research article with an interesting topic that I get my girls or myself to ask. You know, like for example, this, you know, what's better? What do I do? What's going to give me best results? And I'm going to do this every Monday. So make sure you subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for Mondays at 9 a.m. for new content. Um, as I just figured out, I'm also starting prep tomorrow. I thought I had 15 weeks, but I guess not. So I'm 11 weeks out from my first pro show of the year, and I'm extremely excited, and I can't wait to share it. So I'm gonna be posting three times a week, like I've been doing this past few weeks, and Mondays are gonna be dedicated to research-focused 
cutting edge research that is going on in the world of training, nutrition, fitness, essentially. So if you guys have any questions or want to know more, make sure you comment below and you know I'll try to find that research and we'll, we'll discuss this. So once again, I want your discussions below. If you don't agree with the research, go ahead and talk below and we'll talk about it. We'll discuss. I love discussing this kind of stuff. Um, back to, I go on rants a lot, sorry. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays are my videos. Monday's research. Wednesdays are going to be more of training focused. So I will film my workout videos and show you guys a little bit more in depth of how to work out and what to focus on and especially depending on your goals. And then Fridays are going to be more dedicated to a lifestyle video. So I'm going to pretty much give you guys a catch up on what is going on with me, how my prep is going and you know what I'm doing. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, please share this video, subscribe, like and or subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.